Hey guys, Steve Watcher Beam and Toyota in Nashville. I uh, wanted to show you something that's actually really cool in the new Tundra. So um, as part of your straight path assist, so the ones that have the straight path assist, you have the ability to actually set the length of the trailer or to have the truck sense the length of the trailer or to even better have the truck memorize your particular trailer. So if you're towing, chances are if you bought a Tundra, you probably at least are gonna tow some with it. Um, but these things are so comfortable to drive, it might just be your daily driver, and uh, that's what it's gonna be for me, to be quite honest with you. But let's gonna show you something here. I wanna show you a couple things as we go. So what you're gonna see is down over here, this button, you hit this button, you're gonna see it goes into your trailer backup guide up here, right? It says no, tra uh, no safe trailers, of course. So you can kind of see, do you want to add a trailer here, right? So boom, I hit okay right here and it goes into add a new trailer, right? So now you can select the, the trailer name. So what do you want to add? Do you want to add a cargo trailer? Boom, here's a cargo trailer, right? So you can say what your hitch type is. Is it a gooseneck? Is it a hit? Is it a ball, right? What's the length? Do you want to do it auto or do you want to tell it? How long is my trailer? And you can see you've got several different lengths that you can set for your trailer you say longer than 39 feet well obviously 39 feet you'd be pretty darn long to have a 39 foot trailer so most of the time you'd be an auto detect the truck is going to detect how long that trailer is right how many axles well if you have one axle or two or more axles right it's going to come into play if you have brakes on them right what type of brake right there are different types of brakes on your trailer brakes right so if you have you know electric brakes that's EO, eoh is electric over hydraulic um so if you have you know different uh basically what kind of explain it real quick while i'm looking at it so electric over hydraulic means that you have an electric um, receiver that picks up the signal from the truck because it's sent out in electricity and then it uses a hydraulic braking system on the trailer so it's just it's like two systems in one hydraulic is normal braking system like you have in any vehicle but obviously you're not going to plug in a wet system into a trailer it just wouldn't make any sense to do that um, and then you can shut trailer brake control off so tbc off means that the trailer brake control will not work what is your trailer brake control well, it's right down here, right? So that's your trailer brake control. You can manually adjust your brakes. This is your gain, right? So you can do your, your gain or not. Now, when I just hit that, by the way, I'll hit it again so you can see. It'll say that the trailer is disconnected. So trailer brake control off, right? So, um, and it can say trailer brakes, or trailer's disconnected. You know, it can go through any of these and say, all right, well, it's fine. It's this, right? And if you, you know, you start trying to hit stuff, you'll notice that there's, you know, brake control off it's not it's not gonna let you do anything when you don't have a trailer on there for for that and then you can save it right so you can set this trailer uh, set your trailer information at any point right so there there's one trailer. how many trailers can you do i don't know a lot apparently um <laughs> but you can do all kinds of them so you know if you hit a well, livestock trailer right so you got, you know, what kind of hitch? Well, boom, a fifth wheel or a gooseneck or, you know, what what are you pulling it with? So you can adjust, oops, sorry, let me get this a little bit closer here. Um, but you can see what those are. So, but you can adjust what you are, or back, more or less the way that the truck knows to pull the trailer and the length of the trailer and backing it up and things like that all the help that it can give you because uh, the straight path assist if you start to jackknife that trailer while you're going back the car while you're in or the truck of course while you're in straight path assist will actually help you to straighten your trailer so um it's a really really awesome feature um and like i said you can it'll remember your trailer so um you can you don't have to set it every time and worst you know worst case scenario right if you just wanted to well i'm just gonna have my trailer right and boom so you can what trailer are you gonna do right or you can come back right and you don't have to select a trailer you can just hit your button over here right and then no save trailers right do you want to add a trailer and you can see you know you're adding a trailer it's it's just very easy to add a trailer so 
Um, you're you're going to tell the truck how long the trailer is or the truck's going to sense how long the trailer is. But it's a really awesome feature to try to help keep you safe while you are uh, trailering a vehicle. Now, I will tell you something else too. Um, I've had this thing running here for just a couple of minutes and I want you to notice that this heated seat's on, that, that'll that roast your buns. Um, that's, <laughs> that's pretty warm. Um, so anyway, <laughs> you know, just... Little, little added little bit of information there, but that gets warm, guys. So, um, heated cool seats in the limited, by the way. A little extra bit of information you didn't quite know you wanted until I told it to you. Um, but uh, hopefully that helps you guys to know a little bit more about your trailering. Um, there's different suspensions on here too. So, um, this one's actually got your uh, your air ride suspension in the back. Um, it's actually, you can look, you can see a little icon for the air ride is right up there. I don't know how well you can see that, but. Uh, if you uh, you can hit this button right here right and you see it's going into low but watch this I'm going to show you what it's doing here all right so if you you look real close you can see that this is lowering and it's going into low level all right and I'm going to do a separate video on this just to kind of show it to you but that's sitting at low level and then I'm going to kind of this is just a little added for when you do it and I just hit that button up again and now we're going to come up to high level right and then you have a manual adjustment where you can manually adjust it anywhere in between so um, you're either going to add the suspension or you're going to take the suspension down so um, just a little added for the end of that but uh, if you're towing you might want to know um, exactly which uh, level of your suspension so Steve watch me with Toyota downtown Nashville uh, and uh, Brian's coming to get this truck today so I'm doing a couple videos that uh, you guys can take a look at it. But uh, Steve Walsh, Pima Toyota, downtown Nashville. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.